social banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Hi, my name is Bidani Zakariel. I'm the publicist for Grey Velvet. Well, Grey Velvet is pretty much a fashion retail store catering to a number of Nigerian designers and African designers in general. So we, what we do is provide retail space for these designers and they come here to stock with us because designers have there's so many aspects that go into being a designer the creative aspect production and retail space is generally just very expensive so just having a store like Grey Velvet enables designers to focus on other areas of being a fashion designer Well, we have over 25 designers altogether, um, that's including uh, accessories. Um, we have two designers who are based, two Nigerian designers who are based in London. We have Eki Orleans, who's, um, she used to be a banker, and she's very, she makes her, her satin and silk prints herself. So it's very interesting, and obviously she's not stocked anywhere here in Lagos. So she's one of those that we have. We have Onkwa who's very, who started off making Ankara pieces, but about a year ago she started with her jersey and printing on them. So we have her here too in the Lekki store. And then we have Toju Foye. She's very young, very fresh. Her price points are fantastic. So because of her price points and how amazing her things are, people, it's one of those things that move really well. We also have the traditional, the designers who give us the usual traditional Ankara pieces. So we have designers like Odiva, we have Ota Ego who has Ankara, she has silk prints, she has satins. So we have a wide range of designers all together. And then for accessories, we have jewelry lines by Ariaba and Misara. We have bags from Magnesi, print bags that everyone just seems to be in love with. And um, we have Design for Love as well. And we also have really nicely um, done iPad cases from very young and fresh designers as well, like Kanem, who's from Abuja. So we do have a wide range. So you get the Western ones. You get Nigerian designers who do make things that are similar to Western designs, like the UK clan or rabbi here and we have those who are still doing the typical African traditional things as well. To be honest we would work with any designer, we'll give any designer every opportunity to stock and you know for customers to have access to their things. So what we generally do if you want to stock with Grey Velvet we just have you send an email, we send it to the sales team we have our, uh, a manager who goes through those things to ensure that the quality, the finishing and all those things that customers look out for to make sure it's right. So we're open to working with anybody as long as the price points are right, as long as the brand, you know, it's good, as long as your finishing is good, as long as the clothing is good, we're, that's why we're a retail store. Our customers, everybody. We're open, our doors are open to everybody. We want everybody to walk into Grey Velvet and have something to wear. So for example, you find the happy, cheerful lady going for Grey. You have the 35, someone who's going for dinner would come or going to a wedding would come here to buy a key Orleans. We will have um, fathers who bring their teenage daughters to buy something. We have a bag for them. We have a top for them. We are not restricted to, oh, we want this only this certain class of people or this certain age of people. Grey Velvet is a store 
for every single woman, no matter what age. Well, the challenge is um, the challenges of every other business. So, for example, retail here is just picking up. So people don't even understand walking into a store and just picking up something because these stores, retail stores, didn't exist before. Also, we have the challenges of the price point. People who are so used to buying things abroad in, in, in Europe or America, they're used to certain price points. You, so when they come here, you have to start explaining to them why something is 50,000 euro, where they feel that they can get something abroad for cheaper. But what we do, what we always make sure we explain to them is that this is Nigeria, this is Africa. The way these price points are measured are quite different. We are contributing to the fashion retail industry in Nigeria and also Africa because we're looking to um, bring designers from other African countries. We're currently speaking to people from other African countries who are interested in retailing in Nigeria. In the next five years, we would like to have more retail stores, that is within Nigeria, in Af across Africa and even internationally. We want to be able to provide more retail space across, we want to be able to carry more designers, we want to have bigger stores, we want to carry as many designers as possible, creating this exposure, like I said previously, in Nigeria, across Africa and most likely internationally. Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now? And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.